And I have to say, because we have a lot of farmers in this place, we had this hat made up. Look at that. It's, it's the John Deere colors, actually. But make our farmers great again. Isn't that great? Make our And uh, so we're opening things up. But the biggest one of all happened yesterday, other than China. The EU, the Europeans, the thing called Europe. Europe. And uh, the relationship with Jean-Claude, who's the, uh, the head, who's a, actually a very, very strong guy, very tough guy, but a good man. And he's done an incredible job pulling all the countries together. But we just opened up Europe for you farmers. You're not going to be too angry with Trump, I can tell you, because you were, you were essentially, wouldn't you say, Kim, you, they were restricted from yeah, dealing in Europe. You had barriers that really made it impossible for farm products to go in. And I said to him, do me a favor, will you just, because, you know, China's doing a little number, they want to attack the, the farm belt because they know those, the farmers love me, they voted for me, we won every one of the states, and you look at that middle of this country, outside of a little, a little bit of blue on the outs, outer edges of the country, we want just everything. And uh, so they figured, oh, what we'll do is we'll attack them. And I see that, and I said, they're not going to win, just so you understand. We have all the cards, we're going to win. But... It's not nice what they're doing. But I said to the Europeans, I said, do me a favor. Would you go out to the farms in Iowa and all the different places in the Midwest? Would you buy a lot of soybeans right now? Because what, that whole soybean thing is now going to be opened up. No tariffs, no nothing, free trade. I call it free and fair. See, that's called free trade. I mean, basically, we opened up Europe. And that's going to be a great thing for Europe, and it's been really going to be a great thing for us. And it's going to be a really great thing for our farmers, because you have just gotten yourself one big market that really essentially, wouldn't you say, Kim, never existed because you just had you just had a problem. So um, we did that yesterday afternoon. We signed a, uh, a letter of intent or agreed to a letter of intent and we're starting the documents, but the relationship is very, very good. So after many, many years, since 2006, Congress on both sides of the aisle could not get together to reauthorize and modernize a piece of legislation that is so critically important to what we're all here talking about, career and technical education. Perkins Career and Technical Education Act passed the Senate last week, passed the House this week, and will be signed into law by the President after over a decade of languishing. It's Unless I don't sign it. Maybe I'll veto it. Maybe I'll veto it. I'll see. Let's see. I think I'll veto that bill. What do you think? No. Uh, no. Don't. no, no, no. 